Hi, Kat. Thank you so much for your work on She-Hulk. It was an awesome entry to the MCU. Oh, thank you. I'm excited to talk about it. Oh, my God. Me too. Uh, you direct both Jen Walters and She-Hulk, which kind of felt like two slightly different characters because they have like different attitude and swag about them. I'd love to start with how did you try to show that there are two different like ways that this character moves through the world? Well, that to me is one of the most interesting questions that the series poses is... You know, Jennifer Walters is so different from Bruce Banner in that when she hulks out, she maintains her identity. But her identity is also affected by the way that she's perceived and the way people look at her. And there's a moment in the pilot when she gets out of Bruce's saw machine and she kind of does a little shimmy and feels this new body for the first time. And there were a lot of discussions with Tatiana about, you know, what that meant. What does it mean to present so differently but still feel like the same person on the inside? And that's a huge part of her journey. I can't wait to see it go through all nine episodes. The first four were so much fun. Uh, it, it is. It's it's, it's this is the most entertaining Marvel show so far in my opinion and it all like it's just I'd love to hear about balancing the comedy and the humor and making sure there is kind of you know a feeling of stakes there are villains on the way stuff like that yeah I mean that's the, the the biggest balance that I had to work for for sure because comedy requires a looseness and a you know an ability to let actors play and improvise and yet I want to make something that is visually impactful and fits into the MCU. And so it was always about, you know, what scenes can we can we make big? And then what are the scenes where we really need to get to that, you know, connection of the intimate, the mundane, the small moments of life? And I think what a series uh, gives us the luxury of is not having a plot driven show. It really is about character development. And then there are some plots some plots driving around. Oh yeah, there's a lot of different story threads we get to pull on through these first four. So I do I do want to ask, can you tease anything about uh the villains we might be encountering because we get a we get a little taste. I love to hear about showing antagonists opposite Jen Walters and She-Hulk. Well, you know what's cool is that Jen is a resistant, reluctant superhero. She kind of wants nothing to do with that world, and yet that world is constantly coming at her. And so, you know, in terms of throwing obstacles at her, those villains do come back, and we see everybody um, make it and make an appearance to try to make her life more difficult. I mean, that world really is coming out. This, there's so many cameos. As we see in a couple of trailers, we see a couple in the early episodes. Uh, I have two kind of questions about that. One, are there more cameos we have heard nothing about yet? Are there more surprises? And two, when you guys are working on stuff like that, like, is it a collaborative process where it's like, okay, well, you know, this Wong is over here doing this in Spider-Man and Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. Charlie did this in season three of Daredevil. How do we bring this all together? Well, what's cool is like Kevin is really involved on that level and he holds the entire MCU in his brain. And so everyone would have ideas about who should join and then he would know, you know, which threads would sure. connect and which ones would I explode everything. But because the premise is a superhuman law division, you have this really organic way of introducing pretty much anybody you want. Yeah. And so my last thing for you, I mean, I, Daredevil's a favorite character of mine for years now. He's in the same suit as we saw on Netflix. The colors are different. I'd love to hear about changing that. Make, is this a continuation? What's it like to address that? Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it, but it, it's very, um, it's it, it's very conscious and it's very much planned. Uh, that's very all good. I can say. Yeah.